For more than 30 years, the parasites in the mainstream corporate media have twisted the story of Mumia Abu-Jamal into an ugly fantasy that fulfills their white supremacist needs. It's a narrative that borders on farce. Oscar Wilde, in The Critic and the Artist, reminds us about the artist's responsibility. The one duty we owe history is to rewrite it. In some respects, uh... Mumia is uh, very different from many of the people whose fate he shares. But in many respects, he's very much the same. For real, Mu tries to be a tough guy. There's nothing tough about him. He's just like a big teddy bear. It is nothing tough about him. We pay a large price for a large truth. And so Mumia is one of those what we call al Kijita, the warriors. And I'm not talking about making war, I'm talking about protecting the children, protecting the elders, protecting our grandmother earth, those kind of warriors, and that's who he is. The freedom he's searching for is much deeper than the freedom he lost with the chains. Mumia doesn't have a choice. If he were to give up hope, he'd be a dead man already. I think the particular impressive aspect of Mumia's transcendence, to use your word, is his insistence on finding a capacity to connect, even in prison. He has never lost sight of his purpose in life. His purpose in life is to teach. It was long before he was arrested, long before he was arrested, since he was a teenager. I think that Mumia's work from death row is sharp, it's fascinating, there's a deep and focused clarity, and I think that that is readily apparent uh, to anyone who has even a passing or cursory familiarity with his work. His voice is one of the most beautiful voices you could ever hear on the radio. It's cultivated, it's crisp, it's deep and rich, and it's full of life and humanity. People who knew Mumia knew that the affection was strong in him before all this went down against him. Mumia is clearly the most important political prisoner in the United States. He's been that now for years. When anyone gets to that point, the system tries to kill you. There are no political prisoners in America, according to our, to, uh, to our, uh, our government. His life story will be written next to that word justice, without a doubt. For the first few years, I was very angry with Mumia. And I wrote him a letter and I said to him in so many words, look, you don't need to prove that this system doesn't work. Get your ass out of there, you know? Don't be a martyr for this system. People don't care whether the system works or not until it affects them. And let me say one last thing about the Society of Professional Journalists Ethics Code. They say, that journalists should give voice to the voiceless. Official and unofficial sources of information are just as valid. So here we have a journalist on death row who was known worldwide as the voice of the voiceless. That would seem to me that this is a person who is adhering to the ethical code that journalists claim they support but never follow. Does that not sound like a news story to you?